Well, gentlemen, I just got through with about a 30-minute plane ride, and of course, a lot of waiting around in airports and things. And I had, I had plenty of time to take a look and explore the power of bitch picking, and and I. I learned a lot, I have to tell you. When you have 30 hours of total concentration on something you've been working on, you can learn quite a bit. So I'm gonna use these two locks to demonstrate that, uh, a new discovery of mine, and, and for me at least, it's quite exciting. Uh, the first victim, we're gonna use this American padlock. It's locked. Um, it is a Series 3600, and it does not contain an American keyway. You can see it contains, and I apologize for not knowing, uh, it is a common keyway. I just can't remember for the life of me what it is right now. I can tell you it's not a Schlage or quick set. Uh, there's the key. Uh, the bidding looks like this, and I can tell you uh, the string tension, the string uh, pressure on these pins is quite strong, and it's it's almost impossible to rake it. Uh, and I don't know why that is, but so I gave up, and so I started trying to single pin pick it. Um, the key does work. Perfectly, it's a very smooth lock. And so there you go. It, it does it does work. Well, I tried single pin picking it, and by the way, we're going to talk about this guy in just a minute. But I'm going to set him aside just off here because what I'm going to I'm going to need a little bit of room to uh, to do this. I learned an additional lesson about pitch picking, uh, and let me demonstrate that to you. Uh, you've seen the key to this. You know it's a five pinner. Uh, uh, but because of the spring tension and various other reasons, sometimes it's hard to single pin pick. But it's a fun pick, and you can you can do it. But there came a time when maybe I was too tired, or I don't know. Uh, I just couldn't, for some reason, I went through it four or five times, I couldn't get it, so I lost my temper. And so I went back, you know how violent I am in terms of anti-lock behavior. And so I said, you son of a bitch. And so I just stuck my pick in, and I started bitch picking this thing, which I had never tried before, because it's pretty high tolerance lock and I and I opened well what I learned uh, over the next seven or eight hours of playing with the lock if you take your pick on bitch picking you put a little bit of tension and you rock it now on this one there are five pins and I learned that on any lock if you do the rocking thing even if you don't open it there's every chance that you've set one or two of those pins more if you're lucky so instead of a five pin lock, you know, now we're picking a four pin or even a three pin lock. Now, after doing that rocking action to maybe set one or two of them, I didn't release my tension. And now in the past, I've always done that, but I retained the tension. And then when I'm finished with the rocking, no successful opening, you just start bitch picking it. And what I discovered is that more often than not, it opens when you're not filming it on video camera very very quickly and I just couldn't believe it and you can do it time after time after time and I thought well it's probably this master lock it's probably this this particular lock maybe there's a weakness in it and so uh, I just kind of forgot about it and then I remembered I had another lock in my backpack and I had one of these now I have to tell you I've been working on these for a long time. For me, maybe not for some of you, but for me, this is a particularly difficult pick. There are no security pins in, a, in the best, at least in this model. Uh, here is the bidding on this one. And you can see it's quite challenging on this one. There's really, with this kind of bidding, uh, there's not gonna be any chance of raking anything like this. It very, or you have to do it for a thousand years, and maybe then you get it open one time. But other than that, it's just probably not gonna happen high and in a series of lows, you really have to fight that pick to get around to pick him up. It would be really difficult, especially with a rake. Single pin picking, you can do it. And for me, this is my frustration lock. I might pick on this for an hour when I'm trying to waste time and get into it. So I thought, well, if the bitch picking works on this American, which I had never done before, let me just try it on this, on this best lock. And by the way, all seven pins are in there. The lock is fully functional. key out. I regret I don't have the core key. I don't usually carry that with me on the road, but I have it. So let's just stick the pick in there exactly the way we did before. Now remember, we're dealing with seven pins here. So let's just put it all the way in, no tension, apply medium tension, and let's just rock it. And, oops, rock it. And maybe we can set one or two or perhaps even three of those pins. And then course it's not going to open you're not going to rock open the best lock 
now let's bitch pick it. And we just begin going at it. Bam, open. How incredible is that? Now, I don't know if it's only this lock, uh, but I have m probably a hundred of these at home, and I can tell you I'm going to find out. But for right now, based on what I know about best locks, I'm going to have to tell you that uh, to me this is an exciting discovery. Bam, open again. That's two hours worth of work that I did in probably uh, 30 seconds. Unbelievable, the power of bitch picking. In my eyes, this is this is not going to become the only tool because obviously bitch picking only works if you have access in the keyways, as we do. If there are no security pins or very few security pins, then, so these both again fit into that category. So bitch picking, don't let it become your only tool. I mean, for God's sake, I don't want to have to start a you know a bitch picking anonymous club. If you guys get totally addicted to this power. What I think is a pretty powerful technique. But anyway, good luck with it. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal. I'll see you when I get home.